So what we're going to do today is we're going to use the X32 with the 2X16 that's racked up in this rack case. So first we want to do is you want to walk around to the back of a unit. At the back end of a unit, this is how we usually set up in the music room. We we'll have all these cables plugged in across here. The way that we connect it to the 2X16 is we connect it via a network cable which is connected onto AES50A. So I'm going to get a network cable and plug that in. Plug this in into AES50 and the other side gets connected into the back of S16. Coming down to the back of S16 so we have this already daisy chained from this point B to the second S16. And the cable that's coming from a desk, which is this one, goes into ASF50A on here. And plug that in. To make sure that this is perfectly in sync, these green lights need to be lit up. So port A, port B, and then port A. If these are flashing, that means that there is a sync error happening. To the front of the unit of the two A16s. The way this works, the top first banks on here, one to eight, nine to sixteen. The other channels below here are seventeen onwards, right to thirty-two channels. So we have thirty-two inputs. On these XLR microphone mail outputs, this is where we send it to fallbacks. So th this will be fallback 1, fallback 2, fallback 3. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the console, this will show us 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 15 and 16, where it says 7 and 8, are your main outputs going towards the PA speakers. Once we've done that, we need to adjust the settings of the routing on the X32. We do this by clicking the routing tab on here. And what I'm going to do on this home screen, we have tabs, home. I'm going to assign this using the scroll button down below. Assign this to ASC50A1. Next one. So right now, this is using the two S16s. And to check this, I'm going to plug in a microphone into the input of here, my channel 1, to make sure it's working. So I'm plugging that in right now. Once you've done the routing, you need to go to the next tab which says XLR out. You need to change those also to the AES output. So what I'm going to do is scroll this. So this will go from 1 to 4, 5 to 8, 12 and 13 to 16. So once I've done that, I'm going to go to the first channel. I'm going to tap the microphone and then turn the gain up. So when I tap it, I'm going to see the output going up and down on there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the fader up and then slowly turn the front of house up. So this should come out through the speakers. What I've done is I've routed these two outputs into these two studio monitors instead of plugging into the main PA system just to do a quick test. So right now this is actually working. So this is what you need to do to set up for an assembly using X32.